Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick review of The Caves of Steel by Isaac Asimov. So I'm going to start by reading you the blurb, because this will give you some pretty important context, to be honest. Detective Elijah Bailey investigates the murder of an off-worlder in Spacetown. In the opinion of the Spacers, the murder is tied up with recent attempts to sabotage the Spacer-sponsored project of converting Earth to an integrated human-robot society on the model of the Outer Worlds. To search for the killer in the city's vast caves of steel, Elijah is assigned a Spacer partner named R. Daniil. That's Robot Daniil. And notwithstanding the celebrated three laws of robotics, which should make such a murder impossible, R. Daniil is soon Elijah's prime suspect. This is the first of Isaac Asimov's robot novels. Now what's cool about this is that it's like a science fiction, sort of cosy detective, well more, more a police procedural novel really. And it's in this sort of dystopian future as well, like some of the stuff with the food halls where you know, people are eating the food that's like really horrible, but you know, there's overpopulation and stuff. Well, let's start jumping in and see what I flagged, shall we? So to start with, we have this interesting set where the commissioner's briefing um, Elijah and uh, he says, Elijah, I can't trust anyone else in this. Do I have to spell it out for you? We've got to work with the spacers. We've got to succeed if we're to keep the indemnity ships away from Earth. But we can't succeed just any old way. You'll be partnered with one of their R's. If he breaks the case, if he can report that we're incompetent, we're ruined anyway. We, as a department. You see that, don't you? So you've got a delicate job on your hands. You've got to work with him, but see to it that you solve the case and not he, understand? You mean cooperate with him 100% except that I cut his throat? Pat him on the back with a knife in my hand? And I think those are two very good ways of putting that. I like this little bit here about Spacetown. No directions to Spacetown, he thought. No need for directions. If you've business there, you know the way. If you don't know the way, you've no business there. So this bit was pretty cool. Efficiency had been forced on Earth with increasing population. 2 billion people, 3 billion people, even 5 billion could be supported by the planet by progressive lowering of the standard of living. When the population reaches 8 billion, however, semi-starvation becomes too much like the real thing. A radical change had to take place in man's culture, particularly when it turned out that the outer worlds, which had merely been Earth colonies a thousand years before, were tremendously serious in their immigration restrictions. The population of Earth was 7.53 billion in 2017. So we're pretty close to that 8 billion. R. Daniil the robot has a great quote, he says, The division between human and robot is perhaps not as significant as that between intelligence and non-intelligence. I like this little quote here, which I thought was very telling of character, but actually looking back at it now, now that I've read the full thing, I don't know, is it, there's almost some foreshadowing there. Police Commissioner Julius Enderby polished his glasses with exquisite care and placed them upon the bridge of his nose. Bailey thought, it's a good trick. Keeps you busy while you're thinking what to say, and it doesn't cost money the way lighting up a pipe does. He's trying to limit himself to three bowls of tobacco a day. I like this bit here as well. So they have to go through this like decontamination shower where they're both naked and it says, quite automatically, Bailey looked away. Then, with the thought that, after all, our Daniel's customs were not city customs, he forced his unwilling eyes back for one moment. His lips quirked in a tiny smile. Our Daniel's resemblance to humanity was not restricted to his face and hands, but had been carried out with painstaking accuracy over the entire body. Basically, he has a penis. And then towards the end, we get a moment at which Elijah's own wife becomes a suspect as well, which I thought was pretty cool. But I don't want to go into too much further detail because I don't want to spoil it for you guys. I did enjoy this book. It was nowhere near on the level of, like, iRobot, which introduced the laws of robotics. But it did play with those laws. And, you know, I like a good mystery more than as much as anyone else. So it was like a 3.5 out of 5 for me. Not the best, but definitely I'm glad I read it. So there we have it, that's what I made of The Caves of Steel by Isaac Asimov. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this book, if you read it. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video, hit subscribe for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot, Bye bye